Hello, my name is Celito Rodriguez and this presentation is titled How to Install and Use R Studio. This presentation was created for my content analysis class for Cal University. The agenda for this presentation is as follows. Um, I will state uh, the introduction or purpose of the presentation. Uh, we'll define R, R Studio and the IRR package. I will download and install R, download and install R Studio, uh, install and load the IRR package, input the coded data, calculate uh, Krippendorf's alpha. I will also calculate percent agreement, uh, summarize the data. And, and then I will do a demo of how to install and use R in R Studio and, and how to load the packages. So um, I'm going to show you step by step how to do everything that I'm going to cover on this presentation. And then finally we'll do a summary of what we have covered. Alright, so here we go. Uh, purpose of presentation. The goal of this presentation is to create a tutorial uh, to teach fellow classmates uh, step by step how to calculate uh, Krippendorf's alpha and percent agreement between uh, three or five coders. So before we actually get into the program, it's important to understand what R, R Studio and the uh, inter-rater reliability or IRR package uh, actually is R. So R it's it's basically a freely available language and environment for statistical computing and graphics which provides a wide variety of uh, statistical and graphical techniques uh, such as linear and nonlinear modeling uh, statistical tasks, time series analysis, uh, classification, cluster, etc. Um, if you need more information, you can go to the website at uh, cran.rstudio.com. And again, we're going to go to the website in a minute when, uh, when I do uh, the demo. Um, so RStudio is a set of integrated tools designed to help you be more productive with R. So uh, uh, basically RStudio is the graphical component that provides a console for you to write commands uh, rather than using just the command base R uh, language. So R is the language, RStudio is the graphical console. and so again, it included consoles uh, syntax in syntax highlighting the error that supports direct code execution and all that kind of stuff. And again, so if you want more information, you can go to rstudio.com and um, and get more informed. And then we have the IRR uh, package, which is the Inter-Rater Reliability Package, and it's basically this is used to enable R to calculate alpha and other handy reliability statistics. And the, the, the thing is that R does not come equipped with the commands to compute uh, uh, Krippendorf's uh, alpha and, and those other reliability statistics, so we need to install and load that package in order to do that. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is uh, download and install R Studio. And again, so uh, here is the website that you need to go. And um, depending on the operating system that you have, uh, you need to download the uh, the right version. In my case, I'm working with uh, uh, I have a Windows operating system, so uh, I basically uh, uh, download it and, um, and install the Windows version. And again, I will be showing that uh, in a moment when we go into the demo. So, uh, this is the RStudio console. Um, so, once I install R, 
then I install the RStudio console, then I'm ready to uh, basically uh, input commands and, and get what I what I want. So uh, we will see this um, in a couple of minutes. But anyway, so here is the um, RStudio console that would allow you to run the commands uh, necessary to get the results that we're looking for. Alright, so uh, as we briefly mentioned on the description, uh, in order to calculate alpha and other uh, important um, uh, statistics and analysis, we need to install uh, and load this package. And if you look over there here in the command window in blue, the install that packages uh, IRR command. So that's the command that we're going to be using to install that package. So once we install the um, IRR package, we need to load the package. And we load it with the command library and then the name of the package, which is IRR. And on the right, if you see under the tab packages, you're going to notice that IRR, it's, it's, it's in the packages that was installed and there's a whole bunch of other packages that come with the program but there are many packages that need to be loaded if you want to get what you want and notice how the IRR, it's, it's, the box is checked uh, um, if you look at the arrow and that basically means that the package would uh, lower it. So, um, uh, step four in the whole process it's uh, inputting the uh, coded data and again so this is data that uh, would have to be uh, provided to you um, so the data that I'm using was provided and notice how the name of the of the packet of the data it's called three uh, rated data and um, one thing that you if you look at the the heading uh, by default, when you load this thing, the heading says no, and you have to switch that to yes. The rest of the stuff stays the same. Uh, and again, so I will uh, show this in the demo. And once you have the way you want it, then you click on import, and the data will be imported into the uh, RStudio console. Okay, so in this specific case, so I'm working with the three rated data. Uh, notice, notice the um, the three columns. Uh, you know, basically there were three coders, and this is the information um, that that it was provided. If you look over there on the on the left, uh, on the right, on the top, then you see again the name of the uh, the file that we're working for, and so forth. And then on the console on the left button then you'll see the commands that we just performed. Uh, in this step calculating the uh, Krippendorf's alpha um, in this case we're going to be working with um, with nominal uh, data, nominal variable, variable. and um, uh, so again this is a file that was provided to you so you have to import it into the program you know just save it in your computer import it, etc I will show that in uh, in the demo and um, so then here we are going to use this command and again so you you put the command into the uh, if you look at the arrow uh, down over here on the left, you put the command on the console, hit enter, and then you're going to get uh, the uh, calculated uh, value that you're looking for alpha. So again, once I hit enter, then here you get the value. Uh, the subject is 20, again, uh, uh, we're working with, uh, in, in this case, with 20, uh, 20 hotels and in this with this file there were three raters and the value of alpha over here it's this value over here which is uh, again uh, uh, it's easier to explain it during the demo but here we have the subjects, the raters and the value of alpha um, this is another way of basically looking at the data 
uh, this command uh, transposes the columns uh, of the three radio data into rows uh, because basically this script.alpha uh, command prefers to have the data uh, in rows so that basically you can look at the uh, the raters and, and how the data is transposed over here okay uh, in this step calculating percent agreement um, well the percent agreement is defined uh, as the uh, percent agreement equals uh, percent A equal 100 times uh, the number of rows where all readers use the same code divided by the total number of rows so if you wanted to do the manual calculation that's the formula uh, obviously it's a lot easier to do this with our studio and the command is uh, displayed here it's just agree parenthesis uh, three rated data uh, close parenthesis again uh, in this case because this is the uh, name of the file that we're working with uh, as you can see the subjects again it's, it's 20 that represents the 20 hotels we're working with uh, raters is three and the uh, percent agreement is zero because uh, basically uh, uh, the, the, there's, there were no rows where all raters used the same code. Um, basically, the last step is summarizing the data, and here is the uh, the, the summary command. And if you look at this, so here we got uh, the minimum, the median, the mean. Uh, the uh, first uh, quartile, uh, the maximum, etc. Um, and we also have the uh, boxplot command. And again, uh, uh, we uh, haven't actually talked about a boxplot, but basically, a boxplot displays patterns of uh, quantitative data. Uh, for a statistic, a statistical analysis, uh, I'm not going to be covering how to read and interpret the data over here. Uh, there are videos out there where you can learn how to uh, uh, to um, interpret the data for a box plot. And um, one important thing is to notice is that if you look at uh, the median uh, for the three raters, which is three. Uh, notice that the median in the box plot is represented by that um, uh, horizontal li uh, line in the box over there and uh, you can see how th in the rater 1 and 2 the median uh, was 3 and in the in rater 3 the median was 2 so you can see how uh, that line corresponds to the summary uh, data over there and um, and it's so basically you get a lot of useful information uh, by looking into this and, and, and again this is just a few of the things that you can do uh, with R in R Studio alright so here comes the fun part and uh, uh, what uh, many of you have been waiting for and I'm gonna show you how to install um, and use R in R Studio and how to load packages, uh, how to uh, import data, and all that stuff that we just talked about. So let's move along. Okay, so our first step on this presentation will be to download and install R. Uh, here I am at the uh, website. It's uh, cran.rstudio.com and um, here are three links depending on the operating system that you have. In my case I have uh, Windows so I'm going to be clicking on this link and it's gonna take you to this page. Now to install R for the first time which is what I'm gonna do uh, I'm going to click on this link and here is the latest version it's uh, 54 megabytes um, which is not really that big if you have a fast internet connection uh, anyway this is the, either the 32 or the 64 bit version um, so I, I do have a 64 bit operating system 
um, so basically I could work with either or if you have a 32-bit operating system then um, you need the 32-bit version anyway I'm not gonna be showing and talking about this uh, but basically operating system con uh, come into two big flavors either 32-bit or 64-bit version uh, this is out of the scope of this presentation but anyway so I'm gonna click on this link and uh, depending on the browser that you have you're gonna get either the save or download uh, I have um, Internet Explorer version 11 so I'm not gonna save this thing I'm just gonna run it directly uh, if you have Chrome or Firefox you know this may be a little bit different but again this is just like any other program that you may have downloaded so I'm gonna click on run and uh, uh, that may take uh, a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your computer internet a anyway so just click on OK next 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 and that will install the program um, I have already installed this program so I'm not going to go through step by step but you know it's it's a uh, uh, relatively uh, very easy task and, and again so if you have installed anything else before then that'll do it so once you uh, once you finish uh, installing the uh, the program you're gonna get this uh, R64 and this R32 uh, again in my case it doesn't really matter and, and, and by the way you're not even gonna be running this program per se because the program that you're gonna be using uh, uh, to visually enter commands it's the R Studio program which we are going to install next uh, so th you don't really have to do anything over there um, so the next thing that you're gonna do is to install this program and here is the uh, the, the website you're gonna go to uh, it's the rstudio.com uh, products rstudio slash download that's where you're gonna go and um, there are um, uh, you know several installer platforms again it all depends on the uh, type of OS that you have whether uh, you have a Windows you have Mac or uh, a Linux uh, if you have Linux then there are different flavors but anyway in my case uh, this is what I need uh, this uh, version so I'm gonna just click on this and the same thing so I'm gonna click on run and uh, the same steps just uh, wait a couple of uh, seconds and, um, and and install the program just just follow the uh, a step by step uh, you know uh, uh, commands over here on the on the operating system uh, here's checking for the um, security and stuff like that so anyway so keep on you know next next and and, and that'll be done and as in the previous case I'm not going to follow this thing because I already did this so I'm going to um, cancel this and um, so if I go to uh, the, the one thing is the RS studio will not put an icon on, on the desktop so you actually have to go into uh, all programs again this is if you have Windows you're gonna go to a and this is Windows 7 so if you have Windows 8 uh, you're gonna have to uh, it's a little bit different but you can search for it you can just look for our studio on on the um, uh, our studio on the uh, search box over here and if you go to win if you have Windows 8 then you go to all programs and you're gonna get that so anyway so here's the R studio and what I did was basically I right click on this and then I you know sent to um, desktop as a shortcut so um, that the, the shortcut is on the desktop and, and, and here it is so uh, I'm going to open the program and here it is all right so um, here is where you uh, input the commands on, on this left panel and this is the environment where the um, you know whatever it is that you're working for will be there and um, and then in, in this part over here you can get you know the list of files you can get uh, plots packages that you have installed you got uh, uh, help 
and all that kind of stuff so we'll see that in a second uh, but anyway so this is the part where you're gonna be uh, inputting the uh, the command so so far we have basically done um, the two first steps we have installed uh, R which is the the programming language and then we have our studio which is like kind of the the set of graphical tools that would allow you to uh, do easy stuff with um, with R so this is um, the the R studio console over here all right so R does not come actually equipped with the commands to compute uh, Krippendorf's alpha and other handed uh, reliability uh, uh, statistics uh, so you have to basically uh, uh, you have to install the uh, IRR or what is called the uh, Interrater Reliability Package as to enable R to calculate alpha and, and, and those things so and, and this is the command so basically you, you, you type install that package and then exactly the way it is over here and um, and then you hit enter now uh, the reason why you uh, I'm getting this error over here is because I have already installed this package and this package can only be installed once uh, but, but in your case um, this will work so you wouldn't have any uh, any problem uh, once you do that you you're gonna notice that um, actually if you look at this that means that package was already installed and and so the other command that you're gonna use is this command and what this is gonna do this is gonna load the package so um, you type it in there you hit enter and again the reason why um, the the package you know you got an error is because this thing was installed but anyway so uh, once you install it, it's going to say loading, and then you're going to notice that here on this side, where it says packages, uh, you're going to get this. Uh, this is the, the the package, and it's going to be checked, and that basically means that the package is loaded. All right, so now that I have um, installed, so basically we have done three steps. Now we're going to go to step four, and in a step four, you're going to uh, you're going to be inputting the uh, the coded data, and the coded data was provided to us uh, in in this in this exercise. And, and basically, what you comment over here, um, you have basically two sources. You can do uh, from a text file or from the web. In my case, uh, there is a text file that was already provided for this, and I have already worked with the uh, three rated data. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the uh, fiber data file and, and again this is a file that was provided for this exercise so um, I'm gonna double click on this and um, uh, here it is here's the name of the file um, even though there are headers over here you have to specify it over here so basically you have to uh, that's the only thing that you're gonna change over here the separator it's comma uh, because this is a, um, a CSV file uh, prepare with Excel, uh, uh, separate file with Excel, and the decimal is period, double quarter. So all of this is basically uh, stays the same over there. And click on import, and and here we go. Here are the you know the different uh, raters, and the, in this case we we have in this case we have five, and uh, here's the name of the file again, and. Um, Notice that uh, everything that I do, even though it's in the graphical thing, actually shows over here because, again, remember that all commands actually are executed on this part of the console. Alright, so in a step 5, we are going to be calculating uh, alpha for the uh, fire rate of data. And what we need to know over here is the, what kind of data we're working with and uh, the data could be either nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio. Uh, in this specific case, we're going to be working with uh, a nominal data. Um, and um, so, so uh, the command that I'm going to be using uh, for, for this example is this command, which is uh, right here at the bottom. 
Um, obviously, you know, if you if you gonna be wor if you were gonna be working with ordinal data, then this would change to ordinal interval ratio, etc. You know, etc. It will co um, accordingly. But in this case, I'm gonna be working with nominal data that has been provided uh, for this exercise. And then if you hit enter, uh, again, uh, in, in this case, um, I'm going to. Uh, I got this error because again I already uh, performed this actually I, I just run the command and basically uh, what happened was that um, I had put in the uh, the ROM data file over here uh, on my uh, previous example when I was creating the presentation I was working with the three uh, rated data file which is right here now I am doing this video with the five rater uh, a data file and now uh, it worked fine when I uh, when I changed that so this is the actual command and again it's nominal so uh, notice over here how you know the number of subjects uh, were 20 that means that there were you know 20 hotels that were rated uh, there were far different uh, people doing this and here is the uh, the value of alpha all right, so as we saw on the uh, previous example in the presentation, we talked about this command and how uh, it, it transposes the columns of the uh, five rated data into rows. Um, so again, if we execute this command, then this is what it does. And again, we saw this before. So we also talked about the uh, agree command and how it determines the uh, percent uh, agreement and again so um, here is the command um, actually uh, so this has to change to actually five because I'm working with the five rated data and then if I hit enter then again here we go so we got the uh, subjects 20 the raters that's five those two are constant uh, because you're working with the same you know the 20 hotels and the five raters and then we get the percentage agree in this case is it's 30 now on on step seven and kind of like the last step we need to summarize the data and so here we go again uh, this has to be the uh, five uh, rate of data because that's the number of th that's the name of the file that I'm working with so basically this command over here has to uh, go with what's over here so if I uh, run this and here we get then the summarized data and um, so we get the, the, the minimum the first uh, quartile the, the median the mean uh, the maximum etc so uh, here we get uh, all that information that uh, uh, we briefly talked about on the presentation. So the last command we're going to run over here is uh, the uh, box plot command. And again, so if we uh, type in this, then here we get the uh, uh, box plot. A and again, if you look at this, th this is presentation is not about uh, box plot and how to read that. Uh, on the presentation there is a reference uh, to a video where you can you know learn how to interpret this uh, but anyway so if you look at um, a couple of things over here for example if you look at the median for uh, Raider 1 it's 3 and also number 2 it's also 3 and um, actually number 3 number 4 so if you look at this this is what we're talking about so number uh, uh, this is this line over here represents the media uh, and uh, so Raider um, actually uh, all of them so if you, if you look at this over here uh, all of the uh, the median for all the the Raiders it's three and that can be shown uh, over here too. Anyway, so if you want to learn how to uh, read and interpret a box plot, that's also a, a reference in the video. But uh, uh, so there you go. That's how you use uh, R in R Studio. Okay, with the demo, we uh, came to the end of this presentation. Uh, let's see what we have covered. 
Um, we covered uh, the terms RR Studio and IRR package and uh, basically uh, define what they are. We said that R is the language, R Studio is the visual representation, and the IRR package is used to uh, calculate some. To, um, Thanks for watching. I hope that this presentation has been informative.